Residencia RRD04 by Paulo Enrique Paranjos in Brasilia, Brazil. This house is built on a large residential plot of land that accommodates four buildings. All species of the Cerrado still preserved endorse the idea of taking care so that this bucolic environment is preserved, after the future buildings and some paved external areas are built. From the beginning, in all interventions, we sought to avoid that the future residential complex would be configured as a group of four houses separated by streets and sidewalks, completely paved as are the typologies of the limited lots in the large Brazilian cities. In this way, the created urbanism is not only defined by streets and sidewalks, but by a wide area where greenery and pavements are used for the enjoyment of pedestrians, wheelchair users, children in squares, and winding paths in mosaics and designs harmonized with the previously existing natural species and the newly implanted ones. The implantation reaffirms the intricate relationship between the building and the landscape, more than that, it increases the scales of the existing greenery with the constructive elements to be implemented. In the same direction, in this residence, the prominence of the constructed volumes was avoided and, therefore, even being a two-story house, the ground floor is surrounded by loose concrete elements like stone walls in the bordering greenery supporting a small volume in white masonry. The second floor. This volume on the upper floor is a box of opaque gables as solar protection or furniture in perforated sheets of the same color. All four suites in addition to the intimate room can, through floor-to-ceiling openings, enjoy views of the large green preservation area in the neighborhood, neighboring lots, and the entire Canjarana Stream Reserve. The main access on the ground floor is marked by a wide walkway that passes under a concrete portal, a generous span, announcing the interest of something that is to come. It is the delicacy of the path that transforms the collective public space into private access to the social area. To the right, is a volume with a TV room, office, and toilet, and to the left, is the garage and all the service area. A flexible wood panel allows integrating, when interested, the kitchen and dining areas with the large dining and living room. The structure of the entire residence is in reinforced concrete, with solid slabs or mixed with ceramic elements. In order to accentuate the lightness of the upper volume over the elements of the ground floor, we created some cantilevers at both ends and slits secured with transparent glass in the openings between floors. The final result gives greater autonomy to the ground floor and the upper floor, as well as reaffirming the expected lightness for the entire work. The entire social area extends to the outdoor living area. A veranda marked by a delicate metal cover and the pool planted in the landscaping of the large plot. Although it is a two-story house, it is possible to notice that the resulting composition of its volume try tirelessly sought a design whose scales between natural greenery and constructed elements did not pose any threat to the bucolic scale of the lush greenery of that entire region.